guys, how you doing? Wanted to welcome you to week two's topic called Effects on Measures of Center. So last week we talked about mean as a balance point and how to really calculate the mean or model finding the mean with those dot plots and how to do it on the Desmos calculator. So this week we're going to take our understanding of what we call measures of center, which are again mean, median, and mode. If we remember from fifth grade, mean is the average. So that's when you're like adding up all the data points and then dividing by the total number. Median is the middle, right? So that has six letters, that has six letters. Median, middle, when you line them up from least to greatest and then find literally the middle. And then mode is the most, right? The number that appears the most. And I always remember it, M-O, M-O, right? Mode, most. So we're going to talk about how changing a data set, like taking away a data point or adding a new data point, can change or what we call alter the either the mean, median of mode, those measures of center. There are some rules that you can kind of memorize when it comes to the mean. Like if you add a number bigger than the mean, the mean goes up. But if you remove a number bigger than the mean, the mean goes down. So there are some rules that you can memorize, but I find it a lot easier to just find the first measure and then do the change and find the second and compare. So let me show you what I mean when we look at this first dot plot example. So let me kind of scroll over so you can see these with our Desmos calculator as we explore. So if you remember last week with that Desmos calculator, if you go to function and then hit that mean button, anytime you're using the mean, then you want to go there and utilize those things. So let's look at this first example together. The example says the dot plot shows the number of siblings each of the students surveyed have. If one more student is surveyed and has four brothers, what would happen to the mean of the data set? Well, first we want to find the original mean, right? What I like to call the OG mean. So I have my Desmos calculator open. I went to function, I hit the word mean, and I'm going to type in the numbers as I see them. So I have a zero, comma, zero, comma, one, comma, one, comma, one. Then I have one, two, three, four, five twos. So one, two, three, four, five twos. I have three threes, so comma, three, 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 and I have two fours, comma, two, I'm sorry, comma, four, comma, four. Here we go. The mean or the original mean was two, which means on average, the people surveyed had two siblings. But our question says, if one more student is surveyed and has four siblings, what would happen to the mean? So literally on that Desmos calculator, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to copy, control C, and then control V, copy and paste that data set that I just did. Like why retype it if I can just copy and paste? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add one more four. So our new mean, new mean over here is 2.125. So what's the answer to the question? What happened to the mean? The mean increased, right? It's just that simple. So when we're talking about effects on the measures of center, you want to find the first one, then find the new one, then compare. Like it's just that simple. You could memorize the rules, but why even have to do that, right? It's way easier to just calculate the first one, calculate the second one, and then compare. So when I add a number bigger than the mean, the mean increased, right? So that's our first example. Let me get rid of this stuff and then let's move on to our example a two. Oops, what am I doing with my life? Who knows? All right, for example two, it says, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can see it together. It says, Miss Hansen's science class took a big test and the teacher wants to know the median for the whole class. And then I have all those scores listed. It says, what happens to the median if another student takes the assessment and scores a 72? 
Well, this is median, so we don't need that Desmos calculator. With median, we want to line up the data points from least to greatest. Let me get my pen. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Let me get my pen ready. All right, least to greatest. So let's look at these data points. 63 was the smallest. Then I have, let's see, 72. Then I have a 75. Oh my gosh, guys, you didn't tell me I had a 68. What in the world? I totally missed it. Let's go back. I had a 63. Look, teachers make mistakes too. I have a 68. Then I had a 72. Then I had that 75. Here we go. Hopefully I won't make any more mistakes. Then I have two 77s, so I'm going to list it twice. 77, 77. Let's see. Then I have an 80. Then I have that 84. Then I have that 85. Then I have that 89. Then I have that 92. And then someone was almost perfect with that 99. All right, so here I go. I want to find the first median, right? So I'm going to use this different color. And I go cross off the lowest, cross off the highest, cross off the lowest, cross off the highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest. But then I have those two middle numbers. That's 77 and 80. If you have two middle numbers, you find the mean of the middle. So how do I do that? I go to my Desmos function mean, and then I'm gonna do 77 comma 80, right? So my, uh, my original median is gonna be this 78.5, right? So boom. There's the median of the original scores. But that's not the answer to my question, even though I did a lot of math work. My question says, what happens to the median if another student takes the test and scores a, 60, a 72? So we have to relist these. But now I'm going to have two 72s. So I have 63, 68. There's my first 72. There's my new student. 75, 77, 80, 84, 85, 89, 92, 99. So now let's find the median. Remember, you're going to cross off the lowest, cross off the highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest. Highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, right? Or, or actually, nope, just kidding. That's the last one, so that's the median. So my original, or my OG median, was at 78.5 up here, right? And my new median is that 77. So what happened to the median, the median decreased, right? So some questions might say like, how much did the median decrease? And then I would take the original minus the new. But most of the questions will just be like, what happened? Did it increase? Did it decrease? Or did it say the same? So to summarize what we just did, write this down here in summary. These are the things you need to know. Number one, you want to find the original or the OG mean or median. Number two, find the new mean or median with whatever the board problem tells you to do. And number three, you're just going to compare. You're going to take the original and the new, and then you're going to see if you went up or you went down or did you stay the same. So that's all you really need to know about the effects on measures of center. Original, new, compare. From now on, all you need to know is that I love you. I think you're amazing, and I want you to have a great, oops, day.